So let's. We'll Why don't you? No, Okay, great. Hi, everyone. Good afternoon and welcome. A little over a year ago, we were gathered right here in this very building for an event where the Congress paid tribute to the chairman of the International Robert Wallenberg Foundation, Mr. Eduardo Ernakian, who is also here with us today. And this was after Raoul Wallenberg was awarded the Congressional Gold Medal. So for us, this is again a very special occasion today, as we are here to honor the President of Armenia, His Excellency, Ferris Tarkcian, and to honor the memory of Ambassador of the United States to the Ottoman Empire during World War I, Mr. Henry Morgenthau, Sr. Represented here today by his grandson, Mr. Robert Morgenthau. The International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation was created to preserve and spread Wallenberg's legacy around the world. The core mission of the foundation is to pay tribute to the courageous men and women who, throughout history, just like Raoul Wallenberg, helped victims of persecution and extermination. Now, Robert Morgenthau was the single American who did more to expose and fight the Armenian Genocide than any other American. He acted with a voice of conscience and had a moral compass. The United States back then did not respond. And then Ambassador Morgenthau told Washington that a, quote, race murder was underway and demanded that it take the strongest available measures to condemn and to stop the genocide. The administration did not act. And then Ambassador Morgenthau did something truly remarkable. He began a campaign, organized private donations to save Armenians and to resettle them in the United States. As we talk about human rights violations that are happening around the world, we know that there are problems right now in your region of the world. And frankly, it's time that the United States step up, shine a light, call aggressors out, call them on the carpet for what they are doing, and also make a very passionate call for peace. We have a unique obligation as the leaders of the free world to be able to do that. We will continue here on the Hill uh, our effort to call a genocide a genocide. But that's the work. That's the work of the Raoul Wallenberg Foundation is to not only, not only get history right, because we won't get the future right if we get history wrong, but also to call upon all of us to have the courage to stand up in the midst of a genocide and take the action to stop that genocide. Kristonia <laughs> 
Henry Morgenthau, Ev Raul Wallenberg, Nras Gord Nasro Shavumakovner, Izvoroyen, Popokutsan, Berer, Nepasner, Mahvan Amler, Kyanki Ahtanakin. Shnora Galen. Henry Morgenthau was born into a large Jewish family in the United States in 1856. He was the ambassador of the United States to the Ottoman Empire during World War I. He also became one of the most prominent spokespeople against the calamity committed against the Armenian people. So I would like to invite His Excellency, the President of Armenia, to award the medal, the Raoul Wallenberg Medal, to Ambassador Morgenthau, here very well represented and accepting on his behalf, his grandson, Robert Morgenthau. So Mr. President, bless him to the President. saving of some 200,000 Hungarian Jews. It was Wallenberg, with his courage and tireless effort, that saved those lives and provided a model for the kind of humanitarian sacrifice the world so needs today. On behalf of my grandfather, I thank you for this signal honor. Today we have heard some stories of heroism and having a voice in difficult times and rescuing people. And there are still many stories to be told. There are still many individual heroes, rescuers that we can still find and honor. And there's many houses of life to be found and recognized to make sure that the legacy of Raoul Wallenberg and other rescuers and heroes lives on and serves as an example. So I want to thank you all, our special guests, for coming here. And in the coming months and years, the International Raoul Wallenberg Foundation will continue in the efforts to do just this, to find more houses of life, and hopefully also not just to find and unveil, but also to pay tribute to some of the Turkish and Kurdish rescuers of 1915.